you know, she's working with the police. And everybody starts running away from it. I, I don't work with the police. I'm still one of you. I'm sorry. Um, you know, but it, they didn't want to engage with the police. They just, they don't, they don't, they see you. So first of all, I'm a conservative. I was already a traitor. Now she's working with the police. What is she doing? Um, so everyone just didn't want to engage. And what we were trying to do with the police is to sell that story that the police is not that bad. And we do need the BAME community in the policing system. And of course, there's jobs that they can do. Oh, we don't want to be a police officer. They won't even join this thematic group because it's interfacing with the police. That's, that's what we have in the community. It's a big journey. It's a long thing that we have to do. So a lot of people start saying, OK. So we started saying, OK, maybe we start working with the cadets. Maybe if we catch them younger, then it won't be such a bad journey as adults because the adults have already made up their own minds. And everyone will give me a reason why they don't want to engage with the police. But every reason they give me is the one that I turn around and say, that's exactly why you should be with the police. Because if the police don't understand, they cannot help. If there is um, racism, if there is uh, discrimination, as in how the police make their decision and the actions that they take, we are the ones that can educate the police. And if we're not there, we can't educate them. They won't get the education that they need. It's the same thing in politics. When I went into politics, the same thing. Why are you with a conservative? I was the only black person initially. Um, and a lot of the BAME community felt I was a traitor, I should be in labor. Labor love diversity, conservatives don't do diversity. Um, and I got a lot of that. But the, the bottom line is, we need to start going into places that we are not represented. Because if we don't, we will never be represented. And those people, because there is no representation, there is no voice for us in, in that place. So we went through a, a series of um, online meetings with the police, which a lot of people didn't, still didn't engage with, but we recorded it and then shared it with the community. And then people started to understand what the nature of this particular thematic group was. So it's working with the police, encouraging people to work within the, it, it, with the police in whatever role. Um, so some of them are professionals and they're like, so you want me to be a police officer? And I said, well, no, technically there are other roles within the Met and you have to educate them the other type of roles. On our website, we've got a connection to um, all the jobs, the job site on the Met in Essex. We've got it on our web website under this um, particular thematic group. We work with young people now, um, bridging the gap with cadets, trying to get more vain people into cadets so that they begin to understand how the policing works. And of course, like I said, with FIRE, they wanted to do the same similar thing that we're doing with the police because they have the same challenges. They don't have a lot of BAME um, representation in the organization. And now we're going to start working with their fire services in, in Essex. And um, community cohesion and engagement. This is where we get a lot of people that take a lot of interest. So everybody wants to engage. And what we find is that actually people don't mind mixing with other cultures. And there are people out there in different cultures that want to mix with other cultures, but they just don't know how. And this is the value that this particular um, thematic group brings to the, organ to the ground.